Welcome to the Radiation Injury Treatment Network, or RITN's Just-in-Time Training. The purpose of this training module is to address one of the most commonly asked radiation questions we hear from medical staff. Am I safe treating acute radiation syndrome or ARS patients? Hi, I'm Frank Reuter, and I'm a certified health physicist and director of radiation safety for the University of Nebraska Medical Center. Radiation safety is my primary area of expertise, so let me address your questions and concerns by explaining how to safely treat ARS patients. A person experiences ARS when their entire body, or at least a major portion of it, has received a large amount of radiation in a short time period, for example, within minutes. In almost all ARS cases, the patient was exposed to penetrating radiation, such as x-rays and gamma rays, from outside the body. This is called external radiation exposure, and is similar to what happens when you receive, for example, a CT or chest X-ray. When you receive external radiation exposure, such as a chest X-ray, you do not become radioactive and you do not give off radiation. So, if the ARS patient only received external radiation exposure, the medical staff will not receive any radiation. However, there are some accident and terrorist scenarios where the ARS patient could be also contaminated externally and or internally with radioactivity. External radioactive contamination occurs when radioactive particles, typically in the form of dust, gets on the patient's skin or clothing. The radiation coming off external contamination is expected to be very low to medical staff. However, we want to get this contamination off the patient for several reasons. While the radioactive dust is on the patient, it's still irradiating the patient. There is also the possibility the patient could inhale or ingest this radioactivity and become internally contaminated. Finally, we want to remove this contamination so it doesn't spread and contaminate medical staff and or the facility. Protecting yourself from external radioactive contamination is actually quite simple. All you need to do is use the standard precautions that you use with most hazardous contaminants you encounter in the hospital. Wearing personal protective equipment or PPE, such as gloves, an isolation gown, booties, and a mask, protects you from getting contaminated. And by properly removing and disposing of the PPE, you can prevent contaminating both the facility and other staff members. Although rare, ARS patients can also potentially get internally contaminated. Internal contamination occurs when radioactive material has gotten inside the body through inhalation, ingestion, or possibly absorption through a wound. The radiation coming off a patient who is internally contaminated is expected to be very low and likely not detectable at all. If a patient is believed to be internally contaminated, then their blood, urine, and feces can also be radioactive although the radiation levels should be low. Once again, standard precautions can minimize any exposure and contamination to staff. Since the treatment of internal contamination is much more complicated than external contamination, we are not going to address this topic in this module. However, a great resource is the Radiation Emergency Assistance Center training site, or REACS, which is staffed 24-7, 365 days a year, to specifically assist with these type of events. Now, let's go over the process of how you would treat any ARS patient being brought to your facility. First, assume the patient is potentially contaminated with radioactivity. Don PPE and contact radiation safety at your facility. Radiation safety has expertise in radiation, including the detection and mitigation of radioactive contamination. Next, Treat immediate medical needs and stabilize the patient before anything else. Critical care should never be delayed because a patient is radioactively contaminated. As we've discussed, the radiation dose to the medical staff is likely to be low, if at all. Once immediate medical needs are addressed, have radiation safety assess the patient for external and internal contamination. External contamination can be easily detected with portable survey instruments commonly used by radiation safety and nuclear medicine. If contamination is detected, remove the patient's clothing if it hasn't been removed already. In some scenarios, over 90% of external contamination is on the outer clothing. 
Any contamination remaining on the body can usually be removed using lukewarm water and gentle scrubbing. If internal contamination is suspected, contact REACTS for assistance for treatment and assume the patient's excretia and bodily fluids could be radioactively contaminated. Finally, assume anything in contact with the patient, including clothing and items the patient had on them, could be contaminated. Radiation levels are likely to be very low, so you can place these items in plastic bags. Radiation safety can then survey and determine the proper method of handling these items. Once again, the key takeaways are, first and foremost, critical care should never be delayed because a patient is radioactively contaminated. Any exposure to staff from ARS patients should be low, if at all. Use standard precautions, which include the proper use of PPE to prevent from becoming contaminated. Hopefully this training has answered your questions and concerns about treating ARS patients. Following these simple procedures will help ensure safety for you and also for your colleagues as you provide critical care to these patients. For more information, please see the other modules of this Just-in-Time series or the RITN website.